Hey everyone, we're going to be doing a quick overview on this 2018 Chrysler Pacifica with the VMI North Star conversion. We're going to show you some different features of the vehicle and also how the ramp system works. So a quick walk around, around the whole van. All right, let's get started. To deploy the ramp system, you're gonna grab your key fob here. You're gonna hit the passenger sliding door button twice. That's going to allow the sliding door to open, ramp deploy out, and vehicle kneel down. Hit that same button again. Ramp will go in, vehicle will raise back up, and sliding door will close. Okay, let's take a peek inside the van. VMI's lightweight ramp also has a 800 pound weight capacity. In the center here, we have the VMI Access 360, which gives ample amount of room for large power chairs. In the back here, we're going to have a footrest that will slide out for the passengers in the back. In the front side here, we're gonna have the two front seats. Both seats are removable. Down here in the corner, we're gonna have the connectors for the seat. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove both. Next, we're going to grab this strap here, pull and lift. That'll allow the wheels to come out and the chair will just roll right out. When putting the seat back into the vehicle, we're gonna have these hooks here, which are going to go inside those front square bars there. Slide the seat forward until the front hooks in there. Once the front hooks are in, we have a lever at the bottom here. We're going to hit with our feet and the seat's just going to fall right in and lock in. After that, we're going to reconnect our connectors and the seat's going to be ready to go. Once the connector's in, you just want to make sure the seat is locked in there. Both the driver and passenger seats on the Chrysler Pacifica with the VMI conversion are both interchangeable. If you're having an emergency and the RAM system does not want to come back in, what you can do is grab your emergency crank, which is located in the passenger front door, insert it into the hole and remove the cover. Once the cover is removed, we can insert the crank into the floor, put it in and twist. And as you twist, you can see the RAM system is starting to come in. The other way of bringing the ramp in is using the shore deploy system. You want to go ahead and press and hold the shore deploy button. You hear a loud beep. Once the beep stops, let go. And you'll hear intermittent beep from there. You can hit the ramp in or out button. The ramp in will bring the ramp in. You can stop it and bring it out. Hit the button again and it'll turn it off. To raise the kneeling system in case of an emergency, you would come to the back here and remove this cover. Right down here, you'll see a red screw. You can either use a key, flathead, or a coin. Um, put it in there, twist counterclockwise, and that'll raise up the kneeling suspension. So here we have a fairly large power chair. We're gonna go ahead and take a seat and go ahead and bring it inside the van to show you how much room we have. So we, here we have the power chair inside the vehicle with plenty of room in the front and back and also side to side. Next, we're gonna show you how to secure down the chair using the manual tie downs. 
Throughout the van, you'll notice these tracks on the floor. These are called the L tracks, and these are where the restraints and the seat belts will tie down into. So we have it in the back, in the middle, in the rear, and also in the front. To secure them in the floor, you're gonna grab the end here, insert it, and slide, and which will lock it in. Next, we're gonna grab our hook, hook it onto the chair, grab our strap and pull it nice and tight. Once it's nice and tight, we wanna, wanna go ahead and close the loop here. As you close it, it will add more tension onto the strap. We wanna make sure we do a four point tie down. So have this strap go on all four corners of the chair. Then we can grab our seat belts. The van will come with two seat belts. The seat belt is for the front row. The seat belt is for the mid row. Seat belt will lock into the L track. And using the original seat belt from the car, you'll go ahead and buckle it in and adjust to the user. To release the strap, go ahead and hit that lever again, pop it up, pull a little bit, give it some slack, and, not, and unhook. There are a few ways you can deploy the ramp system. You can either hit the passenger sliding door button twice on your key fob. Right up here, you can hit passenger sliding door button as well. Right here in the center dash, you also have a VMI button. Also on the uh, passenger side B pillar button as well. You hit any of these buttons, will allow the sliding door to open and ramp system to deploy out. So the van is also equipped with power sliding doors, power lift gate, lock, unlock, and one of my favorites is the remote start. So you can hit that button twice. And the car will go ahead and start up. Once you sit inside, you want to go ahead and keep your foot on the brake and hit the start button there. This vehicle is also equipped with the advanced safety tech from Chrysler. So you will have a full 360 view of the vehicle. You also have a rear camera and also front camera option. You also have park assist, um, rear parking sensors, lane assist, automatic on and off. And you also have the blind spot monitoring as well.